Hi guys, Biker Cats here. Now today I'm on this very beautiful Speed Twin 900, which I very kindly got on loan from Triumph UK. Um, and what I was going to do, I was going to take you for a little ride with me so you can see what it's like to ride. So let's go for a ride shall we on this beautiful Speed Twin 900 that I very kindly have on loan from Triumph UK. Let's have a go shall we. As you can see we have a beautiful afternoon. Let's just get this started. Oh, doesn't that sound good? you guys along with me. Believe it or not when I was riding to work this morning it was a snow shower and I was thinking hmm, I wonder if I would be out this afternoon but as you can see the sun has come out. It's a beautiful afternoon but it is really cold. It's a really strong wind. I'm just going to put my grips on the uh whew. the speed twin has fitted grips on factory fitted which is so lovely and toasty in this weather much needed so this is the speed twin 900 liquid cool parallel twin engine and I hope you can hear over the noise of the wind the sound of the exhaust ah oh, honestly it's just lovely it's got such a nice note to it there's twin exhaust but it just sounds beautiful it's got a really nice note It's got a nice uh, 18 inch front wheel which is a bit unusual um, I thought it would affect the handling but actually it doesn't it makes for a really smooth ride and it has uh, one disc brake disc at the front which again I thought would affect the brakes but not at all Brembo brakes on here really nice really effective very responsive but this weighs 216 kilos which is quite heavy-ish for a smaller bike if you like but it really doesn't feel it I think the seat height on here is 765 so it's quite a low seat but it's just so light and nimble I'm really taken with this bike feels nice it's smooth hoping you can hear that exhaust a bit more now we're in the built up area I do like it <laughs> so the seat 
on this bike is actually an, an accessory seat, not the standard. Um, and it's a bench seat, um, which I personally have found really uncomfortable. It is literally like sitting on a bench. Um, I, I would prefer the standard one. Way more padding. Um, it does look nice because it's quilted. Um, suits the bike very much. So I don't know if you could put more padding in it. Um, but I certainly need more padding, should we say. And then if you can see the far end mirrors on here, they are uh, an accessory too. Uh, really nice. Very, very well placed. See everything I need to see. And then also, if you see at the front, we've got a little fly screen on there. Again, that's an accessory. Um, but he's keeping the, the buffeting off my chest, which is good. Um, does look nice, suits the bike. And the heated grips are amazing. They're on low. I put them on high, but my hands get so hot you have to turn them down. They're really effective. And I have found when you're pootling in the town, it's really happy just in third gear, rolling through the town. So I hope you guys are alright. What have you been up to? Anybody bought a new bike? Do let me know in the comments. I'd really, be really interested to hear. And why did you buy it? What made you go for it? Sorry, I keep getting distracted by the noise. <laughs> oh, it's so lovely. So I hope you guys have enjoyed riding with me today. Thank you very much for coming along. Really enjoyed your company. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. That would be awesome. Uh, really do appreciate your support. Don't forget to check out my website, bikercans.com. So I'm going to go and find a copper and I will catch up with you guys later. See ya! So I thought I'd just give you guys a walk round video of the uh, Speed Twin 900, which I very kindly got on loan from Triumph UK for a few weeks. Um, uh, just give you a little bit of an up close and personal look so you can see it in a bit more detail so the speed twin 900 it used to be called the street twin uh, 900 um, and they've rebranded it so you've got the speed twin 900 and the speed twin 1200 now so this is the 900 version so obviously tail tidy but that's with all new bikes to be honest um, it's a 64bhp um, with a liquid cool parallel twin, a 900cc engine. Uh, I will start it up for you so you can see what it sounds like. Um, I love in the twin exhaust, really nice. Now I do have a speed twin 1200 and which is black and my exhaust are black. Um, and I do think being a black bike, the black exhaust would do look better, but that's, that's my opinion. Um, they are very lovely and I do love the fact they are twinned. Um, so 765 millimeter is the seat height, um, which for me is absolutely brilliant. My feet are completely planted on the floor. It's quite a low bike, ideal for shorter riders. Um, 
but because it's so low maneuvering it is really easy because you've got all the oomph there with your feet on the floor um, I really like it it's nice um, and it only weighs 216 kilos so quite maneuverable um, I, I'm really pleased with it rides really nicely I like the the headlight here now these head um, indicator lenses here are an additional uh, accessory um, which are extra they come on the front and the rear um, they're not standard and the seat is not standard seat this is a bench seat again that's an accessory uh, personally <laughs> I, I find that really really hard um, uh, I I mean I rode my speed twin to Italy last year I certainly couldn't have done that on this seat it's way too hard uh, but you know it's personal preference and all that um, and the bar end mirrors here which are very lovely indeed as I'm sure you will agree a nice little triumph detailing on there uh, they are an extra as well the normal lights would be sitting about here um, and a bit more retro looking uh, again very nice um, and the fly screen that's an additional uh, accessory I think it looks actually quite nice it does suit the bike um, and of course it's black so it does go well with the bike so if we just start it up we turn the ignition on here you go you can see it's starting um, there is only the speedo there's no rev counter uh, and you can see you've got your fuel gauge here what gear you're in and then I've got the clock on so you can change that so which is the eye on the indicator stalk so if you change that you can have what your rpm is traction control on uh, odometer trip another trip miles per gallon um 105 miles i've got left on the tank range it's saying and then back to clock um and then also it's got two modes right rain and road so to change the modes button here so we change rain and then road very easy very easy to work um which is good from my point of view um and this one does come with heated grips which i've got to say is a godsend this morning because it's cold um so if i just start the bike up for you it does take two hands so it might go a bit squiffy hold on there you go doesn't that sound nice really nice let's just give it a bit of a God, I, I love that. I think it sounds so sweet. That is just a beautiful sound. It's got such a really nice exhaust note to it. Um, when you're riding along, you can just hear the like the thump of the engine, the thump of the twin. And then when you go and like kick it down a gear to overtake, oh my god, the noise is just addictive, honestly. It's just I love it. Love that sound. Um I really like this the Speed Twin 900. I think it's a really nice bike. I love the fact that it's low, it's light, uh really maneuverable. Um yeah, really really taken with it and i think this is the best color personally but i am biased because of my uh my own bike but it does come in a matte ironstone which is like a greeny color and a matte silver ice so uh go check out the dealer see which color suits you best and let me know what you think so don't forget to subscribe to my channel that would be awesome your support is so much appreciated um, and check out my website bikercans.com where you'll find my review so i'm going to carry on my ride find a cuppa and i'll catch up with you guys in a bit